morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to my channel. Hey, how the heck is everybody doing? It is absolutely beautiful fall morning here in sunny Phoenix, Arizona. Have the doors open, the fans on. It's in the 70s and it's going to be in the high 90s today. So we are going to still have some keto chow ice cream. Hey, you guys, did you guys uh, buy any of your keto chow yesterday and use the loving it on keto discount to get 10% off? I just ordered, oh my gosh, I just ordered um, pumpkin spice, caramel pumpkin spice, eggnog, root beer, toffee, raspberry cheesecake. I ordered three packets of everything except the um, caramel pumpkin cheesecake. I ordered six. Harry wants to try out the different flavors um, before we buy the big bags of it and we did a keto uh, taste test keto chow taste test a year ago it'll be a year ago in november and so you we want me to put it up to, yeah put that at the end we did the keto um keto chow taste test uh about a year ago but what we want to do is we want to make ice cream out of these flavors that's why we bought those flavors and we got three packets because my mom my mom came over yesterday and we were still eating our ice cream she's like Oh, you guys are having ice cream. And I I looked at Marty. I was like, well, actually, this is our dinner, Mom. We're having keto chow. I was just like, dinner? And I explained the whole thing that we can have keto chow, that it's, you know, a meal replacement, that we made uh, only two servings. And I promised her that next time I made ice cream, I would make enough for her, too. She doesn't come over tonight because we we're going to go... Uh, meet Chalice and David, my daughter and son-in-law, and we're gonna go to Sam's Club. Anyway, didn't wanna get off subject, but you guys, intermittent fasting. How are you guys doing on it? We're doing an 18 hour, 18 six is what we're doing, and you guys, I really feel a difference. I think Harry's, like Harry said, his stall, he's, he's doing the intermittent fasting, one meal a day, and then a keto chow meal replacement in the form of ice cream. And you guys, he's broken his stall. He's gone down. Now today's a little different for him because he had another bad night and he had to take Tylenol. And he'll explain that. But you guys, we're loving it. And I'm telling you, if you have a blender or an immersion, immersion blender or a mixer and you get keto chow and you want to try it, use the butter. It's a little bit more labor intensive in the fact you got to melt the butter and you got to have warm, almost hot water and you got to blend it in your blender. But oh my God, oh my God, it beats hands down any homemade ice cream I have ever had in my entire life. And I've had a long life. So I know what I'm talking about. We used to make ice cream as a kid. I'm telling you, it is fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Anyway, with that, you guys, I want to share with you guys what we had to eat yesterday that has a direct effect on our weight today. That includes taking over-the-counter medication. Yes, it does. And that would include Tylenol, uh, Naproxen, Aleve, all of those things stop the metabolic process and um, can cause a weight stall or a water weight gain, you guys. So if you're having pain, or you're having a bad night's sleep, those also contribute to water weight gain or water retention, you guys. So just wanna share that with everybody. And then I'll share you guys what we had yesterday, which was perfectly keto. Now you guys, I did a 21 hour fast. I didn't mean to, but I was running all over the place. I was working hard. My boss took four days off. And so I had to get caught up and get everything done um, that was waiting for him. Harry did not do intermittent fasting because again, he had pain, he had to take Tylenol, he did not have a good night's sleep, and he'll explain this more when he gets to the big board. We had a huge piece of steak for breakfast and eggs, you guys. We cooked the eggs in a tablespoon of butter. Harry had butter and tallow, and he had a huge piece of steak. Then for dinner, you guys, we did the keto chow we're still doing the chocolate peanut butter we're not getting tired of it i've got an order of the large bag of salted caramel coming and then today i just ordered all those sample packets i was i was oh and i got pistachio that was it another one i got pistachio 
Um, I wanted to get the lemon meringue in the sample packets. I'm a lemon girl. I love lemon. But Harry is not so much. It depends on what the lemon tastes like. And they only have the large bags of lemon meringue right now. So I didn't get any. Kind of bummed. But we got plenty. So I'm excited. One scoop of collagen for me. Three tablespoons of Khalifa. I never got to a coffee in the morning. I made a black cup of coffee and it just sat there. Harry had two scoops of collagen, six tablespoons of Khalifa, uh, pumpkin spice. So yesterday, you guys, I had 4% carbs for a total of 13.4, 63% fat for a total of 85.1 grams. I had 33% protein for a total of 101.8, and the total calories were 1,271. Harry had 4% carbs for a total of 15.5 grams. He had 63% fat for a total of 111.8 grams. His protein was 33%. He had 132.5 uh, grams. Total calories were 1,660. So I had basically more protein than I did fat. Is that what you're saying? Well, no. You had 63% fat. Remember, fat is twice the amount of grams of calorie grams. Mm -hmm. Then protein. Protein is four and fat is nine, I think. Nine or seven. I'll have to look that up. Let me know, you guys, what it is. It's like twice the amount. I don't think it's eight. It's like nine. So that's why it's 63% but shows less how many grams. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the heat, the energy amount of it. So anyway, you guys... I went down... Two tenths of a pound, eating ice cream for dinner and a nice big steak and eggs for, for breakfast. Harry went up four tenths of a pound and he'll explain why because he told me something that he did as well um, earlier. But I'm not too worried about it, you guys, because that's still in his all-time low range, which is really exciting, Harry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry that you're having issues. Well, you that know, you're having life. pain and you're having issues, but life happens. So can't get too upset about it. You just move on. Especially if you already identify, I have to take an aspirin. I've got a migraine. I didn't sleep well. You get on the scale, you look at it, it went up a couple, couple of tenths of an ounce or an ounce, and you just go, okay, and you just move on. Well, it's nice to know why. Okay. I guess in a way you could say we're biohacking our own bodies. Yes. Um, you know, because we're finding all this stuff out about ourselves that's, that really does amount. I mean, it's nice to know, oh, I went up, or I know I'm going to go, before I get on the scale, I, I knew I was going to go up. And why? Why did you know you were going to go up? Because I already know that the stuff that we eat basically really works, but when you throw something in the works, and I know that Tylenol, for some reason, makes me gain weight, but I also didn't tell everybody I had to have something to eat with that pill, so I had a half of a, uh, what's it called? Um, perfect per keto. What kind of was it? Chocolate perfect chip. Keto, chocolate chip. I had a half of one of those, and I know. With, and with it was later. On that too, and I've taken this thing at you know four in the morning. It's going to cause me to go up. Sorry, you guys. My phone rang, and I had to take it for work. And I apologize, Harry. I interrupted your train of thought. Here, where are we? All right. <laughs> and you didn't intermittent fast. That's what we were no, talking I about. No, I did not. I couldn't. Right. Because I had to, I had to break it. Life happens, you know. Even though you're doing all these things, you st stuff still happens. Life still goes on, right? Yes, it does. So okay. if you come in here, you can kind of see where I wrote down uh, that I had the half of uh, the perfect keto right there, and uh, I went up, and I found out that these bars do cause me to have fluctuations. You, why? How'd you, how'd you find that out? Because we, last, we used to eat these. Right, we used to. Yeah, we used to eat those a lot. <laughs> yeah. I put them in the refrigerator because I was afraid they'd melt over the right. summer. And Harry was scrounging through the refrigerator last night. And um, he found those. And I said, sure, just take a piece off of it. And he broke it. And it kind of broke in half. It wasn't quite half. But well, I took they're the small bigger, bars. I took the bigger half. <laughs> they're small bars. But, <laughs> and I figure even half is like is like, uh, they have they have good ingredients. It, it added maybe 100 calories. Yeah. And I thought, you know, he had to have something to eat. And we're all out of pork rinds. I'm ordering, you guys, it's prime days. Right. 
today's the last day. Switch. So I'm getting, I'm ordering the Pork King um, variety pack or some different bags. You guys, the Dilly Pork King is absolutely delicious. And so is the butter flavor. Oh, man, that was good. Anyway, you guys, I need to get to work and we'll come back, you guys, when we have something else to share. You can hardly see. I got 28 ounces of warm water because I am making another batch of chocolate peanut butter keto chow ice cream made with butter. And when you add the butter to your keto chow, you need to do it a little bit differently. I have four ounces of butter, two for Harry, two for me. I'm going to microwave it and melt it. Because, uh, no, what, what did it? Because you guys, the butter needs to be blended. It doesn't blend quite as well as the cream does or like olive oil does because it's solid. So you wanna get it liquefied. You want this to be warm. You wanna blend it up really, really good and then put it in the refrigerator. I'm very excited because I am so full on this ice cream and it is so good, you guys. The only flavor we have right now is the chocolate peanut butter. I've got the salted caramel on the way and then a whole bunch of the sample packets. So I'm really excited. Nope. You want it melted. You want it melted, you guys. Anyway, I'm sorry if it's boring, you guys, but I'm telling you, Keto Chow, they have so many recipes on their site. They have um, to how to mix and choose your fats and how many fats you need for the amount of calories you want. You push your calories in, you punch that in, and it tells you how much fat you need to use. So please go to their website if you're new to Keto Chow and you guys have never gotten it before and read how to do it. Okay, here's the butter. Let me see. Nope, it's still not melted. Sorry. Because it's very important. It's not like regular powder where you put it in the thing and you just blend it. It's not like that. And you want to get, <clears throat> you want to do it right because when you do it right, it's heavenly. That's all I can say. Okay, you guys, here's the butter. It's going in. Mmm, look at that butter fat. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And I'm telling you guys, this, I would drink this all day long. If you guys don't, or if you're not interested in making ice cream, get some keto chow today and use Loving It On Keto at checkout for your code. You'll get 10% discount. Um, Chris and Miriam were kind enough to give us a discount code, so I'm very excited about that. Now you put your two scoops in, and I ordered another um, shaker container. You guys want to get the shaker containers that they have for sale because they have the little ball in it. If you have one already, that's great, but we don't. Because when I start having to go back to work, we our cafeteria is closed due to the zombie apocalypse lockdown virus. And so I probably will be taking keto chow to work and since we don't have a freezer we only have a refrigerator I'll be drinking it so I'm very excited I really am and I can't believe all the flavors they have so you just want to mix this up really good you guys if you have a handheld immerser it will work in an immersion blender whatever kind of mixer you guys have I was on their live chat and somebody asked about the little frother. Frother won't work. Miriam said that it's too thick. You're, you can use it once you've made it to remix it, but it's too thick. Mm -hmm. Wanna give it one more good whip. So Chris was saying that an immersion blender would work really well as well. So anyway, you guys, I use this. And I'm just going to pour my keto chow in the mixer. And it's funny because the more you mix it in the 
in the Vitamix. It makes it warm anyway. And you guys, Keto Chow has so many recipes I just found out about, including a caramel pumpkin spice cheesecake, which I may check into as far as uh, holiday dessert is concerned. But you can, I guess you can drink Keto Chow hot as well as cold. So I'm going to look into it today. You guys, I'm intermittent fasting. Here, you want another taste? Yeah. Look at this. I got to have a taste too. I have to have a taste. Oh, you guys. I want to drink it. See, the problem with having a taste is you want it right now. But I know it's going to be so much better when it's ice cream. I just know it. Here, Harry. Have a taste. Mm, that's so good. Mm, God, that's really good. It's like amazing. And it's still, I know some of you guys are getting cold weather. Some of you guys may even get snow, but right here, right now, it's in the 90s. It's going to get like a, to 100, 90s, 100s still. So ice cream for us is a win. Anyway, you guys, you put this in the refrigerator. Got my canister in the refrigerator. And I got to figure out the menu today. I don't know if we are going to have ice cream for breakfast today or or if we're gonna have it for our dinner we're um, got to get out and about we're gonna go meet our kids we're gonna go to Sam's Club I don't have a membership with Sam's Club and they do so I'm gonna check out the differences between Sam's Club and Costco since they closed our Costco we have to find a new one so we're gonna do that and we'll let you guys know and I'll bring back the menu for today and I'll share that with everybody as well. Hope everybody's having a great day. Are you guys still doing the fast? Are you doing a 16-8? Are you doing an 18-6 like we are? Are you guys doing a 24? Ooh, that'd be awesome. I can't you guys do that. Warriors, if you guys can do 20-hour fast with four-hour eating window. Mm. I haven't been able to do that, but I'm doing the... Well, I did do that yesterday. Yeah. But then I had two meals. So, yeah. I do at least the 18 hour fast and I'll see everybody in the next segment. Okay everybody, I made the menu for today after I made our keto chow because we're going to have that probably for dinner. Um, and I put it down for dinner and I'll share everything that we're having today you guys. I'm having three eggs, a tablespoon of butter and some alternate ketchup on top because I can because I'm scrambling those eggs and I'm getting some ketchup. Okay. Those of us scrambled egg aficionados who love ketchup on them right. know what I'm talking about. Then I'm having my keto chow for dinner. Pound of keto chow. Yes, I am. One pound. It's of a ice scoop. Cream, That's what right? it turned out. Yep. I know. Turned out to one pound, you guys. Scoop of keto chow. I made it with butter. Then I had my, I did break my fast. 19 hours, you guys. At 11 o'clock, I just finished my first cup of sweet coffee with a scoop of collagen and pumpkin spice Khalifa and my Jordan Skinny Pumpkin Spice Syrup that my daughter Chalice bought me. It was yummy. I love pumpkin spice. I can't wait for the pumpkin spice packets to get here from Keto Chow. I ordered them today. And they have a bunch of menus, a bunch of recipes, excuse me, online for using Keto Chow. And I was talking to Miriam on their live chat. Chris and Miriam do live chat. And she said they have a pumpkin caramel spice or caramel pumpkin spice keto chow cheesecake. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to look at their recipes. And if I find one I like, I'll bring it to everybody. Trust me. We'll all do it together on this channel. Yeah, I'm kind of afraid of that because I love cheesecake. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Back to business. 4% carbs for a total of 13.9 grams, 63% fat for a total of 87.1 grams, 33% protein for a total of 104.5 grams, and I'm gonna have 1,281 calories today, you guys. Harry gets four eggs for breakfast. He gets eight ounce chuck steak with a tablespoon of beef tallow on his. Two eggs for dinner and a tablespoon of butter, and then he gets his ice cream. So he's having eggs and ice cream for dinner, you guys. The scoop of keto chow, two ounces of butter in his. He gets a pound of ice cream and two eggs. You know, 
How come, I, how come I get the uh, two eggs at the same time? Because Anyways. you have less chuck steak. Yesterday you had 10 ounces. Uh -huh. You said you wanted less steak. Yeah. So I have to replace that with something. Okay. Unless you want two pounds of ice cream. Oh, yeah! Uh, I don't think you could eat two pounds of ice cream yeah, made with keto chow because it is so Not in one sitting. No. Too filling. So give it to me intravenously. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Wake me up and then it's over. No, it's too yeah. good. It's too good. You gotta be awake to eat it. Two scoops of collagen, six tablespoons of Khalifa pumpkin spice. So he's having 8.9 grams of carbs, 68% fat for a total of 115 grams. He's having 29% protein for a total of 113.5 grams, and he's having 1585 calories, so just under 1600 and I did that because in case you have to take a pill later you can use that other um, perfect keto oh, bar good idea. piece yeah. for it and not and or I can leave some steak I'll leave some steak for leave you. steak because uh, don't the, eat the bar because I have bar, a feeling it, it messed it, with it you. has stuff in it that yeah, makes you hold water so. hey you guys if any of you guys have done any of the keto chow recipes that they have on their website please leave me a description of what it's called below because I'm looking for something that is perfectly keto that tastes delicious that's filling that I can take on Christmas we always go to my daughter's house for Christmas and I always I used to bring she used to say mom don't bring those sweet potatoes you know the marshmallow sweet potatoes cinnamon brown sugar because nobody will eat them well I brought them because I wanted them this was pre keto and they were gone. Somebody in the line, one of the kids, grabbed all the marshmallows on top. And everybody scarfed it down. So if we go this year, I'm making stuffing with uh, one of the keto breads. And I'm thinking it's going to be from Chompy's because it's local here. And I'm afraid to order bread ahead of time because I am totally a bread addict. I can't mm -hmm. have it in the house. I can't Me either. have it around. Whatever I make, it's going over there. And then they're either going to keep it. Or because I only want it for that day. I want to be keto. I want to have that. But I want it away from me. Right. So I think that's what I'm doing. But I want to bring a dessert. Because Chalice and David are keto this year, you guys. And I want to bring something. So um, they have, Dave has a huge family. He has six brothers and sisters and nieces and nephews and babies and all kinds of stuff. So I want to bring something that's decadent and delicious. Keto-wise. Because Dave has lost like 40 pounds, yeah. 35, 40 pounds. His stomach, he looks so good. Chalice is losing weight, you guys. They're doing so good. So I want something delicious for a treat, for a keto treat there. And then I'm having the meat, you know, turkey or ham and what, whatever. What, what, all, what, is this, what does this have to do with uh, intermittent fasting? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I get off track, you guys. But leave me a message below if you've done a recipe. Intermittent fasting, you guys. Harry is, he intermittent fasted for about 16 hours today, and then he needed to get something to eat. Have you had a pill today, Harry? Oh, yeah. So he had to have a pill. He's only fasted 16 hours, I think. I have to figure it out. I didn't put it down on today's menu where I put it because I wasn't sure, and I don't want to tell you something that's not true. But leave me a message, you guys, like I asked earlier. Who is still intermittent fasting? And tell me what one you're doing. Are you doing 16, 8 hour, 18, 6 hour, 24 hour? Are you guys doing a longer fast? An every other day fast? What are you guys doing? But also tell me, I'm only drinking like I'm doing black coffee, black tea, water, sparkling water. Or I'm having my fat coffee in the morning and my scoop of collagen, but I'm still fasting. Or I'm drinking a little bit of bone broth. Let me know, you guys. It's interesting to see, and I care about what everybody is doing, because each type of fast has a different benefit for you. And, and we, we went ahead and started the fast because we were stuck. We were stuck at a stall. And so Aaron we went ahead and, and yeah. started the, did the fast, and we started doing the ice cream. Yes, bit. we changed our foods, and we started intermittent fasting. The intermittent fasting has been a huge game changer. Harry has just gone down, 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 down. He got into, he broke his stall. Right now, I am on like a little stall for the past three days. 
So hopefully I'm going to go down. Well, you went down today. Right. But Two I tenths. Went, didn't I go? I, I stalled, I stalled. Oh, yeah, I went down. But I still have to get past my all-time 176 that I got to on the bacon yeah, fast that right. I was on. Yeah. So I want to get down. I want to get down under 176. It's like my body's holding on. It's not going to let go. So I've got to do something. So I'm walking. Tonight we're going to go to Costco and go for a walk. Check out a new Costco. I am intermittent fasting. And you guys, Harry and my stomachs are going down from the fasting. This is like an off-scale victory because my stomach, like so many more, so many of you guys have that loose skin right here, right? But even Harry, I noticed. Can I share with you your tummy, Harry? My stomach has gone down. You share with the world that his stomach is getting flatter. <laughs> okay, you guys, sorry about that. I'm busy. He's busy. He just can't show his stomach. But intermittent fasting, we find, is the key. And it's doing really, really well for us. So yesterday I was amazed that I could go 21 hours. I was all over the place, didn't even think about it. I didn't get my morning coffee. I mean, I literally broke my fast with my steak yesterday. So anyway, you guys, we're having steak and eggs. It's what's for breakfast, and we'll come back when I start cooking. It's steak time. I'm going to take those things away from you. Oh, I like them. They're happy. They're happy tongs because you know why? Drives people's Because they get to... Ears crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I like tongs. They're fun to play with. They're like castanetas. If I were a kid, I'd be driving my mom crazy instead of my husband. Anyway, you guys, here's the steak. Look at how lovely and fatty this one is. Ooh, that's a perfect breakfast steak right there. Got a whole bag. Yes, I do. Oh, well, that's all right. That's why I have paper towels under here. Hmm. That's why I, I do it. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's our steak for breakfast right there, you guys. Hope that's going to be big enough. I get how many ounces? Oops. Six. I forgot to put my six ounces. I put it on there. Excuse me. What a silly nilly I am. That's the blonde in me. Six ounces of chuck steak. Harry gets eight. Okay. Oh, I'm, just, I'm too busy. I'm too busy running everywhere, doing my work, work from home, doing my full-time job. I forgot, but I get six ounces of steak, honest. There it is. We're gonna we're gonna let this steak rest after it comes out, and so then we're gonna it cut does, it. He gets 14 ounces of steak. Huh? Well, even if it isn't, look, I have to cook this puppy, so we'll have steak. We'll okay. have enough. So if we don't have enough, I'll just go. I'll just eat less and then get some from this big puppy. Cause look at this big one. So well, you're gonna cook it now? Yes, I'm gonna hook, cook it afterwards. Have to. Oh, I see. I'm just gonna cook it rare, and then when we reheat it, yeah, right. So I'm cooking this for seven minutes. Now I cook it for eight. Cook it for eight minutes. This steak is gonna go in next, and then I'll get the eggs ready, you guys, and I'll share with you our breakfast of steak and eggs for breakfast with some Kerrygold butter and some beef tallow for Harry, homemade, of course. Okay, I'm going to take the steak out. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Let me get this on to weigh this puppy out. Zero it out. Mmm, look at this bad boy. Oh, yeah. Harry, honey, you're going to get hurt. One pound, 2.24 ounces. Nice. Let's get this big guy back in. Well, the I well the uh, well, it's warm inside. Mmm, look at that sucker. That's a big one. Let me get some salt on this. This salt is really fine. It's on the finest grade, so it looks like I'm putting a lot on. And you know what I am, but I like salt. So does Harry. Yep. Got to have it. Especially here. There you go. You got to have salt in the desert. Okay, right. I'm going to let this rest. And while I do that, 
Look at that. <laughs> Rest. Rest, you married So how, how much does that weigh? Uh, one pound, two ounces. So 18 ounces? Yes. So there's enough for both of Yep. So I got to get my eggs in. Got my three egg scrambles going on. Got Harry's four eggs. Butter is brown. Oh, yeah. Look at the brown butter in mine. Load it over to the top. Brown your butter, folks. I'm telling you, it's the only way to go. Unless you're cooking lard or tallow. Yeah, look at that brown butter sitting right Isn't on top. Beautiful? It's just sitting there waiting for me to move the butter. Move the butter. Don't beat the crud out of your eggs in the pan either, you guys. Be gentle with them. They stay fluffier that way. Don't don't overbeat your eggs. Even did, you, did you put a little water in there? I put water in there. Yes, I did. A little bit of water. That is the magic to plumping your eggs. I know it sounds weird to have water in eggs, but you guys, I'm telling you, it works, doesn't it, Harry? Yep. I don't like white runnies in my eggs. So this, I'll make this one mine. Mmm, look at that. So three eggs, and look how fluffy that is, you guys, because I use water instead of milk in my eggs to fluff it. Just a little bit. Just put a little bit. That's all you need. Come on, Sally. You're missing the eggs. I oh, got eggies. Got eggs for you. Come on. She loves her egg yolk, man. Mm -hmm. Loves it. Good piece right there. Yeah, that's a good piece. Yeah. Uh -huh. Good girl. She loves eggs. So healthy for her. Salt and pepper my eggs. Now I'm going to have to dirty a little plate, Harry. Okay. But I got to put some Alterna sweets on mine first. Let me get your eggs out. They're ready. Oh yeah. It's upsetting when it starts sticking. I make beautiful eggs and then they go and get stuck. There. That's the way to have it. Put salt on the eggs. You want salt and pepper? Or yeah, a little pepper. Today you want to do some pepper? Mm -hmm. A little bit of ketchup for mine. Mm -hmm. I don't need a lot. Let me get a plate so we can cut this steak up, shall we? Okay, whole place. I think that's about an eight ounce piece right there. Okay. Oh, that just cuts like butter, like nobody's business. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Let's see. Point eight ounces. So if I just cut a little bit off of that, it'll be mine. Oh, the dilemma. Well, come on. Don't even worry about it. Okay, that. I'll just add it to mine. Yeah. Okay. Let's measure this. What is it? 8.43. Okay, so I'll you do get it. half an ounce more. Yeah, okay. Does that sound good? Yep. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm. Somebody get some good fat. It'll be you. Yes, it would be me. Okay, you guys, look at this. Steak and eggs, it's what's for breakfast. Yum. Guess what's for dinner? Bet you can't guess. Anyway, you guys, we gotta eat now. Got it in, got it plugged in, got it working, got the ice in, did it all myself. So if you guys are worried that this is not going to be an easy thing to do, you guys, it couldn't be easier. It absolutely could not be easier to do all by yourself. So, very excited. 
Hey, you guys. Keto Chow ice cream is so silly simple that I made it without Harry even being here, you guys. I took my container of my Keto Chow that I shared with you about how to make this morning. I just poured it into the container. I got the ice in. I got it all done. And you guys, it's going to be ice cream before Harry gets back. I'm very excited about it. Sorry, I got a light right above my head there. That's better. Anyway, I had to send Harry to the bank. And then he went to Bash's to get some things because we aren't going to go to Costco tonight. And it's coming on to 4 o'clock and I thought, if I don't get the ice cream started, we're not going to have dinner in time to start our fast early. He called me all upset because one of the Bank of Americas is totally closed. So we had to go down to the other end of town toward Bank of America. So he's not in a good mood. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to surprise him with dinner when he gets home. So um, I'm sorry that uh, the coloring on this may not be as good as the regular vlogs that Harry does on the camera, but he took the chip out of the camera and he's been working on the vlog for today already. So anyway, you guys, we'll come back when Harry gets home. I'll share with you just a little bit of stuff that he got at Bash's, and we'll share our ice cream dinner with everyone. That's <laughs> Sally. Sally's rubbing her back. Anyway, Harry's back, you guys, and the ice cream stopped a few minutes ago, so hopefully it's not totally melted. I left it inside the ice. So let's take a peek see. Okay, you guys, so I made uh, exactly two servings. Hopefully I can get this out. Oops, yep, 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 I can. I can, oh yeah. I know, I wish there was a way to get this off, off the, the spatula better, you know? These paddles. More frozen. Well, because I left it in the ice. So that's nice to know. You can leave it in the ice. I left it in the ice for about 15 minutes right. because it finished. It's not okay to leave ice cream. No ice cream is left behind. Now. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. That's so good, you guys. Oh my gosh. With butter. Yes, indeed. Okay, turn this on. We each get a pound, woo, pound of ice cream. Now, the problem is, is getting that side stuff out. No, you just run it under hot water. Right, so I'm gonna, give us, I'm gonna give us easy. This is the really hard stuff, so I think what I'll do is we'll just go um, eat this stuff and let this just sit here. So I placed a huge order for Keto Chow today in the variety packs because I want a bunch of flavors to see which one I like the best as ice cream. I like them all as drinks, but I want to see which one I like the best for ice cream. And this part's delicious. So you guys, look at this. We're having ice cream again. Looks absolutely delicious. And we'll come back to do the clothes after I share everything that we got at Bash's today. So we're gonna go eat now, you guys. Oh my God, I am so full. Oh God, really? That keto ice cream, I can't even tell you how delicious and satisfying and filling it is. You know what I was gonna do? I was gonna weigh myself before I ate the ice cream and oh, weigh and myself weigh after, after. Oh. and see how much, yeah. you know? Harry's supposed to get two eggs and some butter, yeah, cooked wait. in butter, but he's going to wait because I'm full. he doesn't have to eat it if he doesn't want it, and it's intuitive eating. So anyway, you guys, he went to Bash's, and he got us some uh, cherry zevia, and look. Oh, my gosh, I bet you were freaking out. Yeah, that's why I grabbed two. Oh, there, was, there was three, and I grabbed two. We got some eggs. It's kind of bright over here. We got some. Uh, Hold on a minute. Let me open this door. Oh, there. There you go. Now you can see it. Yeah. We got some eggs, some Khalifa toasted coconut almond milk. Harry got some beloved bang. Oh, yes, I got my bang. And we got, Ooh, got Zevia. Yeah, you did. You got Zevia uh, cherry cola. Yeah. I love Zevia cherry cola. Anyway, you guys, that's our little grocery beverage haul yeah. for the day. Um, 
We Tomorrow live, we you live off of We live off of drinks and ice cream. <laughs> How many, you guys are getting tired of ice cream. No, I, I found some recipes on the Keto Chow site yeah. and I printed them out today and I'm waiting for my different flavors to come because um, I ordered like three of the individual packs of pistachio, root beer, eggnog. I ordered six packages of the pumpkin, of the caramel pumpkin spice. I ordered forgot what else. I ordered like a So what are you going to try? Are you going to try something tomorrow? Of course you don't have well, the stuff yet. Well, I don't yet. have anything. I did order a large bag, this size bag of the um, salted caramel. Oh, goody. Which the one recipe uh, I got today that I really want to do, um, I want to do it with the salted caramel. But right now, this is what we've got and that's what we're eating. But you guys, that's another thing. I'll share with you guys tomorrow something else I got from Keto Chow I totally forgot about. But you guys, for today, you guys, if you guys have ordered any Keto Chow and you guys are going to make ice cream because you guys got excited about what we've been doing for the past four days, leave me a link. Tell me below, you guys, what flavor Keto Chow did you get and are you going to make it with heavy whipping cream or with butter? Tell me what your favorite flavor of Keto Chow is if you're a long time user, you guys. And if you have any good recipes, please, please, please join our Facebook, Loving It on Keto with Wendy Fans. And that link is below in the description, you guys. Join and share what you guys are cooking. Share what you guys are doing. And you guys, we didn't show the um, ice cream being made today because Harry wasn't here and I didn't have a camera. Anyway, you guys, the recipe for making keto chow ice cream I made today, it's just I didn't show you how to put it into the ice cream maker. So if you want to see more on those, Harry will have them at the end of this video. Just link on them, click on them, and you'll be able to watch that next. Huh? Talk, 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 talk. Anyway, you guys. Also, you know, if anybody out there is thinking about going to Costco, Wendy did a really good video on... Costco for beginners. No, it's called Costco haul for newbies. For we'll newbies. That at the end and I'm too. gonna put that on the end too. And uh, it was really because you get to go there and she pulls out all the stuff and tells you the prices and everything. It's really really cool. Yeah. Yep. Go there too if you guys are new and you're learning about keto. That's a great uh, video to watch as well. Anyway, you guys, gotta say good night. If you guys like what you see, please like, subscribe, ring that bell so you guys get notified when I have another video up. Give me a thumbs up. That helps the algorithm pull up my videos so other people get a chance to see me and find me. And I will see you right here tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Say good night, Harry. Good night, Harry. Okay, let me put the Khalifa away. Where are you gonna, Ugh. where are you gonna, where are you gonna, I get these to put this on the back Look, room, huh? No, these would be great. Oh, there yeah. we go. Like old dumbbells. And still wait. You guys, just get up and move. Don't forget. We're still doing it. <laughs>